Okay guys, so this is a little bit a little bit different. I'm going for more of a vlog style. So currently this is my shed. Or in the US, I suppose you call it an outhouse or a shack. It's uh it's pretty decent size. Lies. Well, it's not pretty decent size, it's pretty small, but you know you've got to do the best with what you've got, so that's what we're gonna try and do here. So let's take a look inside. It's a bit embarrassing, it's just a place at the moment just for chucking stuff in, but it's pretty poor. I've uh, got a weight bench in there that I'm not really using because I've just used the gym now. Um, just using it just to store tumble dryer there for drying clothes. Little thing area here, little workspace that's completely just not used because it's unorganized. So the plan is I've just purchased, as you can see, the uh, parts there for a new shed. Well, it's a much smaller space, but it's going to go on the end here to house all the kids' toys the uh, tumble dryer that's the other side of here and also all of my tools uh, get it a bit more organized so that in the here we can just make a really nice fish room i'm going to go for sort of uh, racking all the way up this side and then a presentation area at the back there where i can uh, make new tanks for you guys and just have it all look a, a little bit more decent than currently just dotted all around my house because it's just got a bit too much at the moment so um yeah <laughs> Okay, so that's the tool shed up. Congratulations. Oops, done that, there you go. Easy, job done. So the next job is to this mess. Deciding what to keep, deciding what to throw out um, and transporting anything that needs to go in the other shed. And just clear it out really and just let's see what space we've got to work with. The shed's been cleared out. Um, all I've got left in there now is this sort of sideboard that I'm gonna be turning into a sort of an area where we can produce all of the tanks on and I've got some shelving units here that I'm going to build for this area so I won't put zoomed in everywhere it's as good as I can get in this <laughs> it is a tight area there's no denying that but it, it should serve its purpose well okay so as you can see nothing's been screwed down or in tight at the moment but we've got a nice area here where I'll be able to do presentations builds uh, Gonna have a, a rack a rack system behind here as well with some nice tanks on and maybe yeah I think so at some point a larger tank here should be quite nice. Um, obviously I've got to put all the insulation in first all around painting but you get the idea now you can see how it would work. Come in inside like this, come around, store stuff underneath, uh, materials and anything I'm gonna need to build with and also pick you up racking system here Oops. I'm actually as far away as I can be from it but you know you get the idea tank up there tank up there tank down there tank down there uh, each shelf can can uh, take I think it said about 90 to 100 kilograms so that's with my nano tanks that's that's plenty of weight okay so now I've got all this insulation board and I'm gonna cover everywhere inside. Keep some heat in. As you can see, I've insulated everything. Um, it's making a have a lot of difference. I can actually feel the heat just stood in here now, but I've actually made these window panels completely removable so that in the summer months, we get the odd day in the UK here when you get 30 degrees Celsius and uh, it'll be pretty hot in here. So I can take out all these panels, open the doors where it was situated now, and all the air can come through and you know, be nice and cool. So what I need to do next is line uh, all the walls with this wood. It's just like three mil thick, not structural, but it will you know, sit nicely on there, enable me to paint it nice and black. You can see about there, because uh, that's the colour of the channel. So. I mean, it's gonna look a bit like a back cave, but you know, I suppose that's pretty cool as well. And there's a the back wall covered already. Okay, so as you can see, everything's lined. Um, took me about a day in the end, you know, I wanted to cut it all, get it all nice as possible. Next job will be to paint everything, and I'm, I'm leaving the windows uh, without the um, 
you know, the covering on because it's just I'm going to paint them black anyway and they'll just be easily pop out if need be. But it's a hot day today in the UK and I'm actually really cool in this, so that's that's a really good sign. I might not even need to use them if I don't, I'll just fill them in at a later date. So yeah, painting black, I want everything black, and then I've got a hardwood floor to go down as well, a nice dark sort of oak wood. Should look pretty good. Okay guys, a little bit hard to see, I'm running out of light a bit, but uh, painting done, a nice black canvas effectively. Now for the floor. Okay guys, so that's the floor done, as you can see. Um, I think it looks really good. This will be sort of like production area if you like, and uh, next job is to get the racking system in, uh, dress it all up a little bit, paint what needs to be painted. Uh, and then after that, it's gonna be electrics, and then I can start bringing in some fish tanks. safe to say that everything's looking really good. Uh, I've finished building now. Uh, all that's left is to bring all of the tanks in. So this is the main build area, so where I'll be doing uh, building tanks for you guys, mainly filming in this area. And that's the gallery area there, which actually shows off all the tanks. Um, I'll cut some footage of that. But there's also space right here for another racking system at a later date. So that's something to think about, but not just yet. I'll obviously sort out what I've got. Uh, and there's also, I'm getting ahead of myself, but there's a nice little spot here on the end of this for potentially a, a salt water nano, I'm thinking. I think that'd be really nice. The Fluval uh, C Evo, I think something like that's cool. But yeah, I think that'd be a good tank to go there. Cool, let's start bringing some tanks in. Okay guys, so we've got two tanks in, um, looking really good. I'm really pleased that I went for a full black everywhere. Uh, it just really makes plants completely pop and stand out, which is what I was going for. Um, first of all, so we've got up the top here, it's my four gallon, no filter, no flirts, no heater, no CO2, no fish at the moment uh, tank. It's, um, it's doing really well. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I went for a phase about a week of it just being quite murky and I was uh, looking at it thinking what's going on what's going on it was just it was just coming to the end of its cycle and then I just left it alone I haven't touched anything didn't even do a water change and it's just sorted itself right out it looks really good now um, and then down the bottom here I've got my aqua terrarium um, it's doing really good as well uh, it's been running for longer but uh, it's, it, it's yeah it's, it's absolutely brilliant this tank I love it it's uh, so simple as well They've got nice, nice bit of terrestrial moss all going on the top with a, a little trickle filter coming down through the rock, which I made a hole in the back. I've got videos, by the way, for both of these, both of these tanks. Um, but yeah, I've got a couple of white clouds in there and some guppy fry that I just uh, grow out in here so that eventually we'll move them to my discus tank um, and hopefully they won't be eaten by that point. So yeah. Uh, over here is just a space at the moment that I've got for doing a uh, better tank that I'm going to do something similar to this but with a big waterfall that flow, flows into it. I think that'll look really good. Uh, and up the top here, I'm going to go for a complete contrast to this tank. Um, same dimensions, exactly the same tank, it's an Opti White Glass. It's actually the Flexi Mini kit that was uh, endorsed by Oliver Knott a few years ago. It's quality tank and the light's really good as well. Uh, so I'm going to use the same tank and the same lights, uh, and, but I'm going to do a high-tech setup with CO2, FERTs, um, a heater, and like I say, the same light, but and just it'd be really good, I think, just to put them side by side and just compare them and just see, is it really worth the extra money for the um, high-tech versus the low-tech in nano tanks? Um, I don't know, I mean, obviously, obviously a high-tech is going to be better, but 
point is, is it going to be substantially better to, to warrant the, the additional costs, I, I guess. So yeah, that should be good. We'll find out. did then click the subscribe button and uh, yeah see you again soon for more tanks being added to the fish studio cheers guys